In today's video, we'll talk about user macros in Zabbix. You can think of user macros as variables that we can define globally on host level and on template level. So let's look at our global macros under administration macros. Over here, I have a global macro SNMP community defined as public. This is a community for my SNMP endpoints, an SNMP community, you can think of it as a password. And on many devices, it's by default defined as public, which is quite insecure. But maybe I'm using an internal network with some new devices that I bought, and um, I'll be using this default SNMP community just for testing purposes. Then if I go to data collection hosts, I have some switches that are used in production over here. And I don't want to use the public community on them, right? They have a different community defined for them. So I can open up a host. And instead of specifying the SNMP community explicitly, here I refer to SNMP community macro. Globally is defined as public, but I have overridden it. I have defined the same macro on the host level. Host level macros override template and global macros. And for this particular host, the value of SNMP community will be Cisco C375.0. I can even hide it if I want to. I don't want other Zabbix admins to have access to my SNMP community in plain text. So I can hide it like this, right? And no one will have access to it. And we will be able to connect to this host with a custom SNMP community by using a user macro. User macros are used for various other goals. For example, let's search for Linux in my hosts over here. And let's open up Linux server. And let's look at its inherited and host macros. So we will see a list over here. We can see a list of macros inherited from template Linux by Zabbix agent. And they're used in low level discovery. They're used in trigger thresholds. You can read more about them, where they're used and how they're used in macro descriptions. So everywhere where I apply Linux by Zabbix agent template, this template comes with these here macros that you can see, for example, CPU utilization critical, which is a critical threshold of CPU utilization expressed in percentage, right? So wherever I apply this template, this CPU util crit macro will be applied with value 90. This macro is referenced in triggers. So instead of saying CPU utilization more than 90%, the trigger looks like CPU utilization critical more than uh, over here, the value of this macro. So what I can do is I can, on this host, I can change this value from 90 to say 70%. And in this case, my critical CPU utilization trigger will fire if my CPU utilization exceeds 70% for this particular host. While for the other host where this template is applied, it'll remain on the template level 90%. And this way you can use macros to add additional flexibility. You don't have to define individual triggers for all of your hosts. You can simply reference a macro and then change the value of this user macro on the host level. And you can see they are used in various other places. Over here, we have macros for thresholds. Here we have a macro for network interface low-level discovery used as a filter, and they can be used in various other places. You can check out our documentation to see where user macros can be used all across Zabbix.